would like to apologize, Your Worship, to, to yourself and the court at large that I'm, I'm seemingly dressed rather too casual. And I don't want anyone to think that um, I'm not taking the court service or, or upholding the decorum of the court necessary. So that's it. Thank you, Your Worship. Thank you, Mr. Lux. We do understand your circumstances. One aspect, which I'm sorry to try this unless I'm part of an investigation. So, obviously, with the case of um, house breaking, part of the investigation is issued at fingerprints. We do not know as to what is the situation in that regard. No request that they do investigations as to that issue because I want instructions to do return representations to the state for the withdrawal of the case at the last stage. So, we need all these uh, uh, investigations to be finalized accordingly. The state has enough time now between now and, and, and May or she to do just the issue. Well, I, I cannot tell them how to investigate their case and uh, maybe also just to say it's not all housebreaking cases that are being dealt with by way of fingerprints. So we'll leave it up to them. They are confident there is a prima facie case for now. They're going to obtain further statements and that is how I understand. That's why I asked what is the nature of the investigation. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, so then we're ready then to postpone the matter. Uh, on the basis that uh, there is no objection to your release, Mr. Lux. Um, the case is postponed to this court. This is the trial court. Case postponed to the 27th of May. Um, uh, you will remain in custody until you pay the amount of 1,500 Rand bail, which is now fixed, and then you are warned if you pay your bail um, to appear in this court at half past, eight, half past eight in the morning, J Court, further investigations. Now, it's a further con conditions to your release on bail that you do not have any contact with this complainant, a certain Mr. Victor uh, Ramorafi, in any manner pending this case. And I always say, when I say any manner, I really mean any manner. You do not send anybody there. Do not communicate with him in any electronic means, telephone, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever you can think of. You are not supposed to communicate to this complainant. If there's any complaint about that, the court may inquire about that. And if the court finds that you breach this condition, your bail may be cancelled. Do you understand that? It's also a condition to your release on bail that you do hand your passport to the investigating officer, Pongo, Mr. Pongo, by uh, 1600 hours today, 4 o'clock, and for um, that passport to be kept safe by the investigating officer pending this matter. Also, that you continue to reside at the address given on the charge sheet pending this case, and if needs be, for a change of a residential address that you approach this court prior to changing your address. Do you understand that? Thank you. 27 Ma uh, May, uh, 1,500 Rand bail and warned half past eight. There's a court process. Thank you. Uh, just give me a minute. Um, give me a minute. What I'm going to do is I'm going to adjourn so that we can allow everybody else then also to leave and the after I will commence with the court. That's but just give me a you may go, yeah. That's just give me a minute. <coughs>